Hey everyone, welcome to Can't Afford to Record, the YouTube channel where we figure out the art of audio production together. I'm Robbie Miller, and today I'm going to be opening up the brand new plugin from Celestian, Speaker Mix Pro. Just want to say a big thank you to Celestian for sponsoring today's video and also having me as a beta tester for the past couple of weeks. It's been really, really fun, very eye opening. It's been a great chance to explore this plugin, create new sounds, and really think about how I'm going to start tracking and recording guitars in the future. I also have done another video on Speaker Mix Pro where I actually have a conversation with Joe Elson, who's a development engineer over at Celestian. Joe has a wealth of knowledge and explains everything that I might try and show you today with way more elegance. So I really, really recommend you go and check out that video. I'll link it just here. And I learned so much from that video about what this plugin does and what this plugin can do. So I've been using impulse responses from Celestian since 2017 and I've absolutely loved them. And I continue to use them, they're, they're wonderful. However, these uh, DSRs, which stands for Dynamic Speaker Response, definitely give us more options they have more data we can change the sound a lot more and that's what speaker mix pro allows us to really get into and i'm just going to focus on a few of those things today and then show you a mix that i did at the end with everything basically done in speaker mix pro so when we're greeted by speaker mix pro this is something we might see um, i am on fader one channel one and I have a Celestian G10 vintage speaker going through a uh, 1x10 open back cab. Now the track that I um, have done today is more of an ACDC vibe and I wanna pick something a little bit more ACDC-ish. So I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna go to my options page by clicking on the speaker. You can also click this speaker and here I have my speaker options. So. I'm going to go for a, here we are, G12M Greenback. So I click that. I want to go through a 4x12 closed cabinet, and I'm going to have it mic'd up with an SM57. When I click that SM57, that's going to allow me to finalize that option. But something that's really cool is that if I'm not too sure if I really want an SM57 right now, I can actually audition the microphones. So let's say I have this sound right now. Okay, cool. Let's hear what the 121 sounds like. That is a really, really nice touch. I really, really love that. So anyway, we're gonna go with the 57. And when I close this, this all changes to my four by 12, my G12 greenback and my 57. Very, very cool. Up here, I have where I can place the microphone. With the uh, regular impulse responses, you can only pick the six different options. You've got thin, you've got uh, bright, you've got balanced, you've got fat, you've got dark and you've got dark too. Well, what Speaker Mix Pro allows us to do is pick settings in between those options that we're normally used to. So I could, you know, find a nice spot in between the fat and the dark setting um, or, you know, with any of this, it's all gonna work perfectly and it's all gonna sound perfect. It's gonna sound great. So you can't really find a bad sound. Um, for now, we'll, we'll stay nice and boring. <laughs> And I'm going to just leave it on balanced, okay? So I've got my speaker, I've got my cab, I've got my microphone, and I'm still on channel one. So now what I can do is I can go over to the Z curve and Z curve section. Uh, depending on where in the world you're from, I am from England, but I live in Canada. So sometimes I say Z curve, and quite often I say Z curve. So this is really the first step on dialing in that sound and getting a really good relationship between the amplifier you're running through and the speaker cab response that you've selected. And if we just hover over this, it actually gives us a description. It says, restores the impedance curve of the cabinet as seen by the amplifier. So Joe, in the conversation that I had with Celestian, explains this really well. Um, from what I take of it, basically it just allows the speaker in cab to understand what amplifier you're playing through or what kind of um, settings and gain you have the amplifier on. So for example, 
uh, if you are going through quite a high gain 5150 JCM 800 kind of vibe, you might want to have this on a higher setting. If you are going through a lower gain, maybe a very clean sort of sound, you might want to have this on a lower setting. Saying that, um, it's definitely recommended that you explore because you don't have to stick to those recommendations. You could go through a very low wattage, clean sound, but on a very high setting. See what it does, see what it adds. Um, right now, I have tracked through my Amp 1 by Blue Guitar, which I use all the time. And I am typically going through a high gain sort of sound, a JCM 800 Marshall-esque kind of vibe. So. I might have this on a higher setting, but saying that, why don't we just have a quick listen to what this feature does, and then we'll have a, a quick back and forth between an impulse response and this DSR. So if I go to having this turned off at the moment, I have this sound. <laughs> So I just went straight to max so you could hear the big difference. Hopefully you heard the difference there. Now, again, you're going to want to dial this in. Um, but from the get go, this is a great way to achieve that tone for me. If I have it on that higher gain amp sound and I put it on a higher setting, it just adds a little bit more thump to it. I feel like I can, I can hear and feel the guitar pick, um, dig into the strings a lot more. And this is a very feeling based experience and you're gonna hear me talk about this a lot. This plugin is all about feel. So that being said, uh, why don't I leave it on about eight o'clock or or the number eight. And let's just hear a back and forth between the equivalent impulse response of a G12 greenback going through a four by 12 mic'd up with a 57. And let's hear it with this, also with the Z or Z curve on around about eight and just hear what the difference is. <laughs> Okay, great. So as you can see, we can really already dial in a great sound. Now let's talk about the room option on Speaker Mix Pro. When you buy impulse responses, usually from Celestian, you only get one room option, which is a room mic'd up with TLM 107 mics. So for example, here I am with my uh, G12 Greenback um, bundle. And if I go and double click, the room folder, I've got my Neumann, like I say, 107s. So that's it when, you, when you're when using the impulse responses, you've got one room option. Uh, that's not the case with the new Speaker Mix Pro. And this is where you can get pretty weird and wonderful and very creative. Um, so if I send what I've chosen so far um, to the uh, room bus, I just turn up this dial here and now I'm basically activating this fader and I can control how much is being sent to the room and how loud that room um, volume is. So already I've got a little bit more control here and I can blend that into my already chosen DSRs. There's a ton of features here and you can check them all again by going to that conversation with Joe. But what I wanna show you is if you click around about here, I've got some more room options. So I can have a U67, I can have an Apollo, I can have the STC4033, I can use the TLM107 that I've got already. Uh, right now, I've got this.
So yeah, you can really sort of dial in a great sound, really blend it into your tone. Why don't we hear a couple of those extra room options now um, in the playback video? <laughs> So we've moved over to my lead guitar uh, section now and for my lead guitar section I wanted to change the sound quite a bit so I've changed over to Vintage 30s and they're going through a 2x12 and I've got this 2x12 mic'd up with a 57 and a 421 classic combination. What else is going on here? I've got the Z curve or Z curve moved around a little bit more. And I've also got some of this sound going to a room, um, going to some room mics as well. But uh, it's a little muddy sounding. So we're going to use the EQ to get rid of some of this muddiness. And um, I'm actually going to just put this all on the master EQ. But I'm going to show you how I do that. So this is what it sounds like right now. I'll just play it for you. Uh, it's good. I like that sound. Uh, but again, I want to make it a little, I don't know, I just want it to poke through a little bit more. So what I can do is I can go over to this EQ section here. And here I am, I've got a 10 band EQ. And I can change the high pass so I can have this. And if you double click these, uh, these little uh, icons here, if you double click them, I think actually Celestian called them nodes. If you double click these nodes, you will activate them. Okay. So there I have, I've got a bit of a high pass happening right now. We'll put it around about there. And let's just see if we can, um, yeah, reduce a little bit of that, I don't know, low mids sort of sound. We'll try and uh, find out where it is, first of all. And to activate this EQ, I need to press this button here. So now I've got the standby off and anything I change on this, I'll be able to hear in the mix. So. Let's see what we can do here. So I can definitely hear it's cleaned it up a little bit. Obviously, you can go in here, you can do way more surgical stuff. You can really mold this sound. Uh, but when I was listening it, listening to this back in the mix, I could definitely tell I wanted it to just poke through a little bit more. So using the EQ, you can do that. And you can obviously go into the channel EQs and do very similar stuff. You don't have to do it on the master bus. Um, that can be a finishing touch, if you will. You could do all this kind of stuff on the channels themselves and even the room mic if you don't want the room uh, mic sounding maybe muddy or you want a little bit more high-end boost go into the eq section of the room mics and and do that so there is nothing wrong with uh yeah doing a little bit of this on across all the different channels um to really sculpt that sound that you want so now that you've heard and seen uh how you can use speaker mix pro I want to show you a little mix that I did uh, from some of the guitars that you've heard already in this video. I'm going to put them together for you. It's a bit of an ACDC vibe, but basically what I've done is I have used Speaker Mix Pro to choose the, the, uh, the cabs and the speakers and the mics and the real guitar sound that I want. And then I've done a mix around that sound, put it all together, and this is what you're about to hear. So enjoy.
and there we have it. Although I always say in my videos, and there we have it, but not really in this case. In fact, we have barely scratch the surface of the options available to us on Speaker Mix Pro. This plugin is so much fun. I really, really enjoy using it. I really, really enjoy messing around with it and trying to get weird and wonderful different sounds. There's no reason why you can't put a keyboard through this plugin. I mean, there's no reason why you can't put vocals through it. I mean, why not? Why not be creative with it? Why not try different things? Um, things that you cannot do in a real world scenario or maybe not very easily in a real world scenario. This is a chance to be creative, to push the boundaries on guitar sounds and cabinets and mics and speakers um, and really dial in the sound that you're after. Obviously, I've just shown you loading a speaker onto maybe one channel or maybe two channels and, and panning them left and right and changing the room sound a little bit. You have six channels, you've got six faders here. You could have, you know, your drier sound in the middle and then, you know, wetter sounds on the sides and panned here and panned there and different mics here and a four by 12 and then the same mic, but on a one by 12 with a Celestian Gold. So you've got a really high end chimey sort of sound. I mean, stuff that you cannot really do very easily otherwise in your basement <laughs> home recording studio. So if you want to have a chance to mess around with your favorite speakers, pushing the boundaries on guitar sounds, um, using different mics, different rooms, you can do it all with Speaker Mix Pro and it sounds awesome as you can hear. So Celestian, thank you so much for making this plugin. I really enjoyed using it and I know I'm gonna enjoy using it in the future on different tracks and mixing and adding it into my workflow. I think if you have explored impulse responses before, you will also find this so valuable. You will absolutely love this plugin and you will love being creative with it. And that is what it's all about. One last thing. This plugin itself is all about the user experience. You have heard the sounds that I've done with it. You've watched the video. You've watched me maneuver around the plugin. But I have to tell you, when you are playing your guitar and you're going through this plugin, that is where you really feel and sense what it's all about. That's where you really hear and see Speaker Mix Pro shine um, at its highest. I actually think I'm going to enjoy practicing with this plugin, not even just recording with it, but practicing it, being like, yeah, I'm going to play through a Vintage 30 right now. Oh, a few minutes later, I want to play through a Celestian Ruby. I don't know. That is so inspiring to me, though, to change how I practice. And like I say, messing around with the different features, having a little bit more room. Maybe I want to get vibey on this practice session. Maybe I want loads of room mics in there. Um, maybe I want to you know, mess around with that Z curve, Z curve, get some different tonal qualities going on there. It's something to inspire you when you're playing. And I truly believe playing through this will get you a better recording. It will get you a better take, you know, on your guitar track, which means you're going to have a better track to mix with. So I think this plugin is inspiring, not only for recording, but for just playing the guitar and practicing the guitar in general. So that's my takeaway on it. Did you like today's video? What do you think of Celestian Speaker Mix Pro plugin? Have you tried it out yet? Let me know in the comments below. Are you looking forward to trying it out? Uh, what can you imagine yourself using this plugin for? Um, have you already got ideas of what you could do with it? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you like today's video, then consider leaving me a thumbs up. And if you liked it even more than that, why not consider joining and subscribing to Can't Afford to Record? It would be great to have you here. But that being said, I think that's pretty much it from me today. Thank you so much for watching the video, you guys, and I'll see you again very soon. Mm -hmm.